Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade elevens. It's Mr. Shachar again, and welcome to Back to Basics. What we are going to be examining now, basically, we are going to be looking at our Eastern Cape 2022 paper, right? So we are going to look at our Eastern Cape November 2022 paper, right? And see in terms of what was required there. And we are still looking at our number pattern. So we are going to start with, the, with question three there. Now, question three. They are you are given that you are having your linear pattern, which is going to be negative two, three, and also eight. Now they say determine the TN of this particular thing, right? Now, what is it that you're going to do to determine the TN? This is going to be uh you're going to firstly find out what are the differences in here, right? Now, and the difference that you are going to find here is going to what? Uh the first difference that you are having here is going to be five, right? So this is going to be five, and also this is going to be five because when you say eight subtract three gives you five, three subtract negative two, it is going to give you five, right? Now, so that is going to that. Then you are going to come back. This is equal to Tn is equal to A plus into N subtract 1, close bracket D, right? Now, what is A represent? It represents the first letter, right? Or the first term. So this is going to be negative 2. Uh, this is going to be negative 2 plus into N subtract 1. And then the difference is 5. So basically, this is same as negative 2 plus 5 N subtract what uh, subtract five so therefore which means our tn here that we are going to find or the tn that we are going to have here it is going to be same as your what it's going to be same as tn is equals to five and subtract seven so basically that is going to be the tn now they say find out what is going to be your t18 this one is simply t18 is going to be five into 18 subtract seven right now, which means now your term 18, you're going to simply plug in to that particular calculator. Then you're going to get this as your 83 altogether. So basically that is going to be that. And if you are looking at your 3.1.3 now, they say which term in this pattern has the value equals to 4, 7, uh, 473. So basically they, they want us to find what they say, which term. So which means whenever they say which term, they want us to find out the n value, right? So what is going to be the n value here? This is going to be 4, 7, 3 is equals to 5 n subtract 7. And then therefore you take this one, this side. What is going to be this one, right? When you take this one, this side, this is going to be same as 480 because this is going to be added is equals to 5 n. Then you divide by 5 this side, you divide by 5 that other side. Then your n is going to be given by what? The n is going to be given by 96, right? So which means the term or the value that is equals to 473 is going to be what? It's going to be the 96 term. I would get Now, then that is going to be that. And then now let's look at this particular question. Now they say in a linear pattern, uh, your what? Your n. Uh, your T11 is given by negative 19 and your uh, T23 is given by 65. Determine uh, the, what? the number of the negative terms in this. So what is going to be this particular thing, right? Now, for us to uh, work on this one, firstly, we need to find out what is going to be the TN that we have here. And then we are going to start that. Now, when they say T11, now let's start here. Remember we said, now since this is our linear pattern, remember the linear pattern is given by what? It is given, uh, the, when you are proving it, it's given by A, which is the first term. Then when you're moving to your second term, your second term is given by A plus D. The third term is given by A plus what? Is given by A plus 2D, right? Which is the two difference. The fourth term is given A plus what? Plus 3D. So which means now, your T11, your term 11 is going to be given by what? Your term 11 uh, is going to be given by what? It is going to be given by A plus what? A plus T or rather 10D. I want to get it because this was representing all term 4, right? So your term 11 is given by what? A plus term D, right? And then they have, they have given you in terms of what is your term 11. Your term 11, they said this is same as what? Negative 19. So negative 19 is going to be given by A plus 10D. I want to get So that is going to be that. And similarly with your term 23, which means your term 23 again is going to be given by what? Your term 23 is going to be given by what? A plus 22D, isn't it? So uh, hopefully you are getting that one now. So which means now this is going to be 65 is equals to A plus 22D. I would to get. 
and then now you can then equate this uh, and then solve this uh, simultaneously, right? So let's say we, we start with this one. So we are saying now here, uh, when you make A the subject of the formula, you're going to simply take the, the term this side, right? So this is going to be the same as uh, your A is going to be given by what? It's going to be given by negative 10D, all right? It's going to be given by negative 10D, and it's also going to be given by what? Uh, it is going to be given by negative 19, right? So that is going to be that uh, equation. So this is going to be your equation one. And then we're going to just simply take this and make this to be about equation two, right? Then now we are going to substitute where there is A. So where there is A, you are going to do what? So you're going to substitute uh, one into equation two, right? So you're going to substitute equation one into equation two. So when you do that, what is it that you're going to have? So this is going to be same as 65 is equals to what? A negative 10 D uh, minus 19, right? A plus what? Plus 22, plus 22 D. So that is going to be what you are going to have here. And then now what is it that you're going to have now? When you solve this, when you say 22 subtract 10 D, what is it that you're having this side? This side you're having 12 D. And then when you take this negative 19, this other side, look at this one. When you take this 19 into this other side, what is it that you're going to have? When you take this 19, this is negative. When it comes to the side, it's going to be positive. So when you say 65 plus 19, that is going to give you 95 or rather 96, right? So that is going to be your 96. So therefore, which means your, uh, your, uh, your value of your D, this is going to be, you'll give you what, your 96. Is it 96? Let's see. Uh, 86 rather, not 96, but it's going to be 86 rather, right? Uh, then let's see. Uh, look at me making some mistake here. So what we are saying here, we are saying this is same as, uh, this is same as your 65 plus your what? Plus your 19. Look at this. 65 plus 19 is going to be 84, right? So which means this is 84 is equals to 12D. And when that is going to be the case, then you are going to divide by 12. Then you're going to divide by 12 here. So which means the value of your D that you are going to find here is going to be 7. I would get off because 84 divided by 12 is going to be 7. And then you're going to come back and substitute that D, right? You substitute now D. Uh, you substitute D into equation 1. Now, when you substitute D into equation 1, what is it that you're going to have? This is going to be same as what? This is going to be same as A is given by negative 10 D uh, uh, minus 19, right? So then this is going to be A is equal to negative 10 into 7 subtract what subtract 19 which means now your value of your a here uh the value of your a that you are going to find it's going to be give, given by what the value of your a that you are going to find here it's going to be given by this let's see now when you say negative that this is going to be negative 70 <laughs> sorry about that so when you say negative 70 now negative uh negative 70 plus what uh, negative 70 uh, minus 19, right? When you say negative 70 minus 19, uh, this is going to be given by what? This is going to be given by negative uh, 96, right? Isn't it so? Uh, this is going to be given by negative uh, 89, I mean, right? So basically that is going to be your negative 89, which is going to be uh, the first term, right? This is going to be your negative 89. And now from here, what else then are we then going to do? Now from here, uh, this is going to be your negative 89, which is the value of your A. Then we are going to then start here and come back and find out what is going to be uh, this particular equation, right? Now they say, determine the number of uh, the term A, or rather determine the number of the negative term in this particular pattern. So now that we know this particular thing, uh, what is it that you are going to do here? Firstly, uh, we are sure that now we are going to be given by what? Uh, we are going to find out what is going to be the general TN of this particular pattern, right? Now, the general uh, term of this particular pattern is going to be what? Let's see. Now, let's start here. So, now uh, let's make up some space. Remember, we are given what is going to be your first term. You are also given what is going to be what? What is going to be the difference? So, they said now the first term that you are given what? Uh, the first term, uh, it is going to be the value of your A. And we found out that the value of your A is going to be negative what? It is going to be negative 89, right? So it's negative 89 
All right? Uh, this is going to be negative 89, which is your first term. And then now they say the difference, the difference that you are having here, the difference is going to be seven. So when you say negative 89 plus uh, seven, what is going to be that one? So to, to find out the negative term, when you say negative 89, negative 89 plus uh, plus your seven, what is going to be that one? That is going to be negative 82. Right, this is going to be negative 82. And then when you move swiftly along, and then uh, what is it that you're going to also have here? When you say negative 82 plus your seven, this is going to give you negative 75, right? Negative 75. How to get? So basically, this is still going to be your difference of seven. Now let's find out the TN of this. Now the TN here is going to be given by A plus uh, n subtract to one close brackets d what is your a your a is given by negative 89 plus your n subtract one the difference is given by seven so which means this is same as negative 89 uh plus what is the n now the n here it's going to be n subtract to one uh multiply by seven let's just multiply this uh now so this is going to be same as seven n right so this is going to be same as plus 7n subtract 7, right? And then now when you say negative 89, when you say negative uh, negative 89 subtract 7, what is it that you're going to get? This is going to be negative 96, which means the Tn here is going to be uh, 7n minus what? Minus uh, 96. How to get? So basically that is going to be the Tn that you're going to find. And now we are not done. They say the one that will have the negative term, right? So we are going to say now for this to be the negative, your TN must be less than zero, right? So which means now that's when you're having your negative mean, right? So which means this is going to be 7N subtract 96 less than zero. Then this is going to be same as 7N. When you take this one, this is going to be 96. When you take this 96, this side, right? And then when you divide by that, then this is going to be what? This is divided by 7, divided by 7, right? So which means it's going to be where n is less than 96 over what? Over 7. So basically that is going to be where you are having your what? Your negative n. And then what is going to be this? This is same as 13.75, if I'm not mistaken. I'm writing this here. This is same as 13.7, uh, 13.71. Right, so which means now uh, the first value to have a negative term is going to be what? Uh, the number of the negative term is going to be 13, right? So the n is going to be when your n is equal to 13. That is going to be the number that is going to give you your what? Uh, your negative term. So basically, this is how you are going to do this question. Hopefully, this makes sense to you and you'll understand. Thank you very much.